Hey YouTubers, I want to show you a follow-up from my previous video of how to open the box of this Dell Tower and show you some of the upgrades I made and I'm actually going to mount a hard drive and you'll see that in this video. Now to open the box it's super easy and my last video on this I went very fast, did it very quickly, but I want to show you some more details today. So on the back of the box the first thing you want to do is remove the side plate. So the way to do that is just pull open, pull out this lever and the top pops off and you can then remove the side panel. It's very, very easy. Now, to the next thing you want to do if, you, if you're getting back into the circuit board and need to access the RAM and, and some connections to connect hard drives, you will want to unlatch the power supply and it's very easy by moving up these levers. You know, they were already unlocked. Um, but you slide them right up and then this power supply swings out and you have complete access to the computer. Now a couple of follow-up things people have asked me about the graphics card and uh, right here the graphics card is mounted uh, so if you wanted to upgrade that you have very easy access to do that right here. Another uh, person asked about upgrading the cooling fan and I guess the heat sink and I'm not really aware of uh, any products that are you know upgrades for this I don't feel a need to do that I suppose for gamers um, and, and heavy users where the system is just constantly going um, you might want to do that but when when the power supply is closed you have a little bit of space about the width of two of my fingers can fit between the current fan and the back of the power supply. So you have a little bit of space to, to have a wider uh, cooling fan and heat sink and I suppose it could be uh, bigger you know up and down and, and uh, wide and, and, and high. Um, so anyway if that answer, I hope that answers uh, your question. You can see very clearly the space that you have in here. Uh, but I don't need to access this today to show you what I'm going to do because I actually mounted the hard drives earlier but I left one of these hard drives just sitting on the bottom of the case because I didn't have these extra screws to mount them properly so it's been sitting in here for a few months and I figured um, I'll show you actually how to mount the hard drive and how easy it is in this case uh, but when you put, add new hard drives you want to uh, you know plug them into the board and it's very easy to access uh, the connection points. Uh, so I'll go ahead and close that. That you would need to have this open for that part of it in terms of connecting the wires to the hard drive. And I'll snap this closed, and now the power supply is locked into place once again. <clears throat> now for this, um, well, let me show you another upgrade I did. Um, I added a solid state hard drive, and um, and this thing makes the computer run really fast. It boots up fast. The programs run really fast. I, I really like it. There's hardly any storage on it. I don't store um, the programs and the files, especially video and all that. I, I have them stored on these hard drives. So uh, there wasn't really a, a place to mount the solid state drive, but it's just a, virtually a card and it fits in to where the original hard drive was to begin with, so that, that's no problem. Um, now this hard drive that I've had sitting on the bottom of the box, I'm going to mount properly in this space. Uh, there's another hard drive that I've mounted in, in the one space there. So um, the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to disconnect one cable to give myself enough room to work and, um, and then to, re to open up this bay or to remove this bay is very easy. Just two screws. And then this can get a little bit tricky here removing this, but it first it just pulls out and snaps out. But I've noticed sometimes these, these boxes do get st stuck in, um, in a plastic or rubber footing that's on the bottom there. So you just work with it a little bit and it does pop out. It's no problem. And then um, to 
mount the hard drive, you just insert it in there. And I shouldn't be touching that circuit board, so be a little bit more careful when you, you mount it. And then you just line up the screw hole. And okay, now to mount this, you have to put it in the right, the right place, um, the right way. And this is the right, the correct way here, obviously. And those screws will line up. And I, there are four screws to be mounted. And I only have been able to find three of them laying around, and uh, that should be good enough. It's not uh, super critical, in my opinion, that it has all three, all four screws in it. And I wasn't really worried about it sitting on the bottom of the case either um, while I had it. Now, if you were transporting the computer, you would definitely want to be mounting the hard, the hard drives before you carry it around. If you wanted to put it in your car and and transported or needed to ship it, uh, you would definitely want the hard drives mounted super easy. And then I'll do one more screw on the other side, and that will make it sturdy enough. Very easy. slide this plate back in to its location. That mounts in there and you put the other screws back in that you took out to take the bay out of the box. Now I'm using a power screwdriver B be careful that you don't torque down on anything. I'm just using this because it's super easy, but it doesn't really need to be snug down. Uh, it's not like you're working on a car or anything like that. And then you just want to mount the wires. This is some kind of a jumper between the two, the two hard drives. And there it is. And I'm done. Now, I'm going to show you how this cover, how easy this cover is to put on there. But that, that's how easy it is to work on this tower and add components and change them out. In my last video, um, I kind of stumbled along trying to get this back in. But I want to show you how easy it actually is. There's four feet on the bottom of this plate and these four feet correspond to uh, four slots. It's one there, two, three, four. So to put this back in, you just put those four feet in the right place and when it's lined up, you pull this lever back and it snaps back in place and it's together. So it's super easy to work on the Dell Tower computer to add components um, and I would recommend this if you're looking for a computer where you can upgrade um, continually and add components this tower just makes it super easy to do that so if you have any questions or comments about this follow-up video on the super easy Dell tower to open uh, just leave your comments below and ask, ask, any, ask me any more questions that you have about anything I've mentioned on here, and I'll do my best to answer right away. Thank you.